How has the pandemic affected your work as an archivist? Well, um, it's an interesting uh, question. I think that um, it's really made me more, um, even more cognizant of how important it is to um, provide sort of offsite uh, reference. Um, and it's, it's, um, it's a little, it's a little less, um, comfortable for me in a way because I'm not by my collections every day. And I'm used to having that ability to just be like, Oh, if somebody has a question about something, I can just go and, and see them. Um, I'm, I'm now at a remove. Um, for a lot more of the week than than I'm used to, so um, it, it there really has become more of a focus on on making things available. Um, and for a time, um, I kind of slowed down on um, uh, getting in collections, um, but I think you know I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable about um, bringing that back um, and and uh, uh, growing our collections again, so. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Laura, what about you? What, what changes are you seeing? Um, like Chris mentioned, I mean, I think one of the biggest things is that we're not with our physical collections as much as we normally are. Um, whether that, like in her case, you know, mentioning um, to answer reference questions or research inquiries, um, but also just in, um, you know, how much we can spend on to process or the maintenance of those collections, um, which again is a lot of what I do. Um, so I think one way that we've um, pivoted within with the manuscripts collections is um, spending a lot more time to focus on the description of our collections. So we've been able to um, review our finding aids, all of our finding aids uh, that predate all of us. <laughs> Many of them do. Um, so, you know, there are still some gaps there. Of course, we're not able to check them against the physical collection, but we can kind of give them some TLC in terms of um, little things like checking for grammatical errors or you know making note of things that maybe don't make sense that we'd like to check with the physical collection later on. Um, also doing a lot of um, language updating, um, making sure that our descriptions um, are accurate and inclusive um, of the collections that they're describing and the people that were involved in those collections. Um, so, you know, in a way it's been, um, it's, it's been work that um, hasn't been able to be a priority because we're doing so many other things, but, um, you know, we've been able to pivot and make it a priority now. Um, so that has been nice, I guess, for lack of a better word. Um, but I would say that's one way. And just also thinking about, um, um, I think it makes us just also a little even more aware and cognizant um, of our digital presence. And um, I think we were all there anyway, thinking about it, but now we're thinking about it even more um, and how we can increase that um, as we stay in a place of um, needing more digital presence and that that may be a trend. Well, it'll definitely be a trend going forward. 